Time now for our CBS 21 Political Insiders. They're with us here, Tony May, the Democrat, Charlie Giroux, our Republican representative, and we're going to talk about medical marijuana, a topic, James, you've done a lot of reporting on. A lot of reporting on it. You showed me a Quinnipiac poll before we started mm -hmm. this that shows now 90% of people in the state approve and want medical marijuana to be legal in the state of Pennsylvania, but we've got this Republican, Matt Baker, now, the, uh, the House Health Committee, who's saying that it basically he doesn't think that it should go through. He's got some real issues with the... He won't the, even let it go for a vote. Exactly. He wants to basically give it a huge roadblock right now. So, you know, what's our reaction to this? Committee chairmen are very powerful. They have the opportunity to block legislation in their committees if they want to do that. Matt Baker feels very passionately about this. When Tony and I wrote an article in support of medical marijuana a couple weeks ago, he sought me out to tell me how wrong he thought I was. So it's obvious that he feels very strongly. But when you've got overwhelming public sentiment and a vote in the Senate, such as it was, very lopsided and bipartisan, and the push on now for medical marijuana, I think that the opposition is very quickly going to fade away. And Tony, you know, this used to be an issue that all the Republicans were against and right. the Democrats were not true, thinking right. about. That's not true at all <laughs> anymore. As we, Charlie was always I, on my side. I, I always <laughs> pointed out. Um, so what's your take on this not even getting out of committee? Well, I think it, it, the, the point here is that the committee chairman is blocking the bill right now. What his committee members want, they have to weigh in with, with Matt Baker and let him know how they feel. Forty out of 50 senators voted for this piece of legislation. It's, it, it, the, the, the belief is there's more than enough votes to pass it if it got to the House floor for a full vote. The question is about the other members of that committee, and if a clear majority of them want to move that bill out, I think Matt Baker will respect their, their wishes, but I don't think they've, had, they've been forced to weigh in yet. Well, Baker's saying that, that these benefits have not been proven yet, and he's citing a lot of different research, including evidence which shows that seizures, and that's one of the main, one of the main uh, reasons this, is, this push has started about, seizures in, in small children, it's able to help that. But he's citing the fact that in some cases it shows epileptic children, the seizures could get worse if they use medical marijuana, coming from Matt Baker. There have been some in the medical profession that have said that. Again, this is the reason why it ought to be out on the floor for a debate, so that you can hear both sides of the argument. Mm -hmm. and and let the representatives of the people make a choice on an informed basis. There have been lots of hearings on this, as Tony has already pointed out correctly, bipartisan support in the Senate. There are other parliamentary maneuvers that can be employed to get legislation out of the committee if it comes to that. But I think Tony's right. Ultimately, the committee chair is going to respect the members of the committee, but people are going to have to let their representatives hear how they feel. And as you've pointed out, Jim, with 90% of the yeah. people well, agreeing on this, gonna, it's pretty hard to see how opposition isn't going to Going to throw that to Tony right. about what other route could this take? Well, I, I think, the, number one, the members of the committee let them, their feelings be known to the chair that they want to call a vote. They can call a vote anytime there's a committee hearing or a committee meeting. There's bound to be committee meetings on health and welfare issues as we go through the budget season, so that, that's always looming over Matt Baker's head. I think he's going to make a good faith effort to stop the bill, but I think in the final analysis, public will, will, will prevail. And you've got three, right. 1,300 signatures calling for his resignation, and mostly from the parents that have been pushing for this medical mm -hmm. marijuana to begin with, and that's just in the last couple of days. So, Tony, Charlie, thank you. Thank you, guys. Always good to be with you. We are hosting our own town hall meeting on medical marijuana as the state legislature decides if it should be legal here in Pennsylvania. Hear from lawmakers, doctors, and parents of children with serious disorders. The event is June 11th at the Central Penn College. If you can't make it to the event, we'll also stream it live on our website, cbs21.com. And of course, you can catch our political insiders Tuesdays at 5.30 right here on CBS 21. And these guys are with me on Sunday mornings at 11.30 for CBS 21 Space of the State, which is right after CBS. Face the nation.